It's now or never uh, after being named the 2019 <laughs> Ultimate Elvis Tribute Artist Champion. Taylor Rodriguez is back home. I'm proud of you for singing that. Uh, I didn't this really time, sing it. Well, you know, it was close enough. Uh, this time he's shaking things up at South Roanoke Nursing Home. We chatted with residents about their walk down memory lane today. Libby Nelson just can't help but sing along. <laughs> With Elvis. She's recalling lyrics from decades ago, which isn't a surprise since you might say she was an Elvis super fan back in the day. Every time he'd come to Roanoke, I would go see him with a group. Yeah, I wouldn't miss Elvis. Darling, I'll be and now she wouldn't miss her favorite Elvis impersonator, Taylor Rodriguez. Libby and the other residents don't have quite the same reaction they did 60 years ago. The cameras would flash and all, and of course we'd hoop and holler when he came on stage. But they still look forward to singing, clapping, and even dancing along to songs of old. So much so. I heard one uh, family member in residence say, if you close your eyes, you'd almost think he was in the room. There's a reason why Rodriguez has been crowned the number one Elvis impersonator by Elvis Presley Enterprises. It's always great to give back to the community and be able to perform for um, kind of the people that have supported me from the very beginning. Including many sitting in this very room. He is quite the fan club. Yeah, I mean, it sounds just like it. Right? They've yeah. watched and cheered him on throughout the entire journey, and now Taylor gets to travel the world being Elvis. Yeah. I mean, he's like in Australia, the U.K., all these different places. So good sounds, for him. Sounds like a good life. Mm-hmm.